parte de lava. In blue, no more is this the Folly Rose Sports Ay, Pavilion. This is a Greek house of Taekwondo. Why? Because Alexandros Nikolaidos is in the gold medal final against Juan this man, Mundai Sung of Korea. And Pat Croce, this is going to be one huge battle. Steve, I was psyched that this Greek giant made it all the way to the gold medal round. Look at the home fans going nuts. And Mr. Moon here is just spectacular. Fans, if you like Taekwondo, if you don't know anything about Taekwondo, keep your eyes focused on the TV because this Korean athlete is fabulous. His techniques were superb. He's so quick. He does most of them in the air. He goes for headshots. Now, I don't know how he's going to get up to a six foot seven inch giant, but this is going to be exciting. There's one person that can. It is Moon. But Nikolaitis has been very impressive, as you said, through the early rounds. This is really, I mean, I was so, I was shocked to see the speed that this big man has. I thought he was just going to power his way, lumber his way. I know being in the Olympics makes you superb, but this guy is quick, he's agile, he's even fast on the retreat, his defensive maneuvers. He's a fireman, he has a phys ed degree, he speaks three languages, he trains two to three times a day, he started Taekwondo at three, he's a bit of an overachiever, but here he is in the Olympic gold medal final, and he deserves to be here. See, I love this. I love when the players, the competitors, go over and pay their respects to the opposing coaches. That's good stuff. That's what the Olympic spirit's all about. Olympic spirit, the spirit of Taekwondo. It is a very nice okay. sport that is surrounded by great Check. traditions. Okay. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Olympic gold medal heavyweight match in Taekwondo in the blue. The hometown favorite Nikolaidis of Greece in the red moon of Korea. Oh, a spinning roundhouse to start the big Greek giant throws. Didn't score. Oh, he threw an axe kick, but he got hit. Moon snuck in a roundhouse in a, as a defensive maneuver. He is very, very quick, this Korean fighter. Dyson, our moon is going to have to do something very special, and he's going to have to beat Nikolaidis and the crowd. You could hear the Greek crowd. They were upset. They thought that axe kick by Nikolaidis scored, but it didn't. Well, there's going to be a lot more fighting. There are three, mounds, three minutes each. We've only there's 30 the seconds in. Again. Staggered Moon. He staggered Moon, but it did not contact his head. No, you know what? It hit his shoulder. If it doesn't hit the head, the head by a foot technique is two points. If it hits the chest protector anywhere in the front or sides, it's one point by but, a foot. But not the top of the shoulder. Not the top of the shoulder. Oh! oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. That nearly was a two-pointer. Moon threw an axe kick as a defensive maneuver, and then the big Greek giant tried to throw a roundhouse to take his head all the way off. <laughs> These guys are real quick. I told you, for big men. Even Moon's six foot three. That's how big. Look how big that is. We've only been in a minute. This is a huge action of this. Oh, oh, nice kick. Nice kick by. Moon. Look how big he is. And now six foot seven. He's only four inches taller than this Korean, who was a gigantic man for his own country. 6-3. See, I don't think that Korean has a disadvantage here because he's so fast. The essence of this sport is proper technique with focus, concentration, and speed. Now, he has the speed, and he can jump in the air, and he can hit Nikolaidis in the head if he wants to. If, if, if he's good enough. Well, this is a very, you can hear the crowd going crazy. And this, oh, oh there it is. He's down. That was it. I told you, he could do it if he wants to. That was a jumping, spinning hook kick. Eight count coming up, tell us what's happening. He's getting the into eight count. He's going to get another point. He's going to get another point. He got a two point for that head kick. He should get another point on there. We have to see if Nicolaitis can actually continue. I think continue. he's knocked out. That was a jumping, spinning hook kick. It was unbelievable. I was just saying that. He could get was, up in the air. That was so hard. Was, what a great kick. Unbelievable. This guy jumped in the air on the defensive through a spinning jump hook kick. Caught him right in the temple. Nicolaitis went down. He went down hard at 6'7". It is Knocked over. Down. It is over. Under and, a knockout. Look at Nicolaitis. He cannot. He can barely function right now. We've seen some really good hard kicks in the head through this competition. That was one of the best. It's the only way. That's a David versus Goliath. David. Moon takes out the big Greek giant with a jumping, spinning hook kick to the head. Unbelievable. Pat, tell me, you know, here we are. These men are gigantic. 230 pounds for the Greek, 200, just over 200 pounds for Moon of Korea. And here he is, giant, huge jumps, jumping how many feet in the air? And it's, well, the it's guy's six foot seven. Incredible. He jumped six foot seven inches in the air. It was unbelievable. He certainly has quieted this part of the I loved crowd. him all day, Steve. His technique. His tradition, his respect for his fellow opponents, he would go and always bail out. You got to give this man credit.
He you, fought very hard. He, he, you know, we weren't really expecting the Greek to do that well. He was maybe a bit too big. He didn't have to qualify because there was an automatic burst for the Greek athletes. So we thought, oh, maybe he's just going to you know, get out of the first round and enjoy his Olympic experience. Instead, he fought his way to the gold medal round and, he and fought earned well. a silver. He fought extremely well. Each of his matches, he fought extremely well. In the semifinals, Nicolidius won 6-3. to three. So he was good at scoring points. But throughout these competitions, throughout the Ol Olympic taekwondo competition, how many times did I tell you, never rule out the knockout. You should never rule it out, and this was one of the earliest ones we've ever saw. You saw Nikolaidis saluting the crowd, showing that he has come back. But this man has done a superb job for his country. Steve, one thing I think our viewers don't know is that Moon has a really bad knee. We saw in the semifinals him go down. I saw the coach pull his leg up, spray some cold spray, but you saw it was already wrapped and we were concerned. How would he do in the finals? How would he do in the finals with that bad knee? Because he jumps in the air. He uses his height. He uses his foot techniques, his spinning techniques to his advantage. But you can't do that with a bad knee. Obviously, it didn't hurt him. I don't know what his coach told him in the locker room. Well, Fabulous said, display of athleticism. Very well done. And there's his coach giving him a big hug. <laughs> yeah, bear hug. That's what we want to see. And I think Moon had to get this over with Pearl. He had to get this match over with. Here we go. Boom! Oh. Nicolaitis went in with the roundhouse, and immediately Moon anticipated, spun, jumped in the air, and he had to jump in the air with his heel. He hits Nicolaitis on the left side of the temple. Watch. Bang! Oh! Down. Fabulous technique. That was a great match, and I have to tell you right now that Moon Dai Sung has battled Nicolaitis and the entire crowd. He knocks him out and emerges victorious to win a gold medal for China in Taekwondo and a richly deserved one. I'm sorry, a gold medal for Korea in Taekwondo, and as I say, a richly deserved one. Fabulous. And we all know that Taekwondo is very fast, but if you didn't think they were hitting hard, only look at Nicolaitis there as he took that hit. We'll be back with more from Athens in just a moment.